So I've recorded this intro multiple times and to be honest with you guys, sometimes it's hard to produce watch content in a time like this. Sometimes I think to myself, is it even the time to be producing watch videos or should we just focus on what's going on in the world? Of course, I'm not saying that this is a complete distraction, but I feel that sometimes just producing some content might make somebody's day a little bit better. Maybe you're quarantined, maybe you're feeling a little antsy and hopefully this provides some kind of distraction for you guys. So today I have a really exciting episode for you guys. Sorry that kind of started out in a kind of a sad note. However, I have something to share with you guys. I asked a lot of my YouTube friends if they wanted to showcase the watch they've been wearing while they work from home and that way we could sort of have this really good positivity around all of this remind everybody that we're all in this together and still have a little bit of fun there's no reason we can't have a little bit of fun so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video every single youtuber here hopefully you find your favorite youtuber as well they're going to be sharing every single watch that they've been wearing during the quarantine times hey everyone thanks ab for having me on the channel my name's ben and i run a small wristwatch channel called ben's watch club where we look at some of the best low-cost watches out there, along with some of the worst. I'm going to cheat here because there's actually been two watches that I've been wearing during these turbulent times. Right now, I'm really enjoying this Loris Field watch, which I reviewed back in January. It's constructed of titanium, so weighs almost nothing, and as a result, is just super comfortable. It sits there, you forget it's on your wrist, and it's highly water-resistant to boot. I've been wearing this a lot during the lockdown here in the UK while working at my desk. Nevertheless, when venturing out, I'll chuck on a different watch. The original Apocalypse watch, the Casio F91W. This is my go-to choice when visiting dangerous places like the supermarket. The primary reason for this is that I don't have to worry about taking it off when I'm washing my hands. It's incredibly easy to clean the resin strap and it won't get damaged in the process. If I somehow manage to break this watch, say, if I were to drop a Nokia 3310 onto it, I can just replace it for the price of some fish and chips. Stay safe, people. Stay indoors. Keep watching. Hey, guys. My name is Eric, and I'm from the channel Loomshot. And the piece that I've been wearing the most is my newly acquired JLC Master Memo Vox Boutique Edition Limited of 500 pieces. This watch right here. The reason why is because this watch has a complication that's been completely replaced by modern technology. Having a mechanical watch in the first place is unnecessary since we have digital clocks everywhere, like our phones and computers. So having a mechanical alarm complication can be seen as even more unnecessary. 99% of you guys probably wake up to your phone alarm. Which makes this memo box so charming. And of course, the different shades and textures of blue found in this style is incredible. Since I do make custom watches myself, I have a huge appreciation for JOC's master watchmaking. Anyways, I hope you guys are all well and spending time with your watches. And thanks AB for the feature. Hello, this is Jody from the Just One More Watch channel. I hope you're all safe and well. Thank you, Ab, for inviting me onto this video. What watch have I been wearing over the last couple of weeks? Well, I've been stuck inside with my entire watch collection mostly, so I've been wearing mostly my entire watch collection. I've been going a little bit mad. I've been changing watches four, five, six times a day as the mood takes me. So that selection includes, but is not limited to, a whole bunch of Casios. I love Casios. I've been wearing my modded square metal G-Shock. I just bought and had delivered last week a Cassie Oak, the one with the white indices. So I've been testing that one. A couple of weeks before that, I bought a Square G, the 5600E solar powered, so also been wearing that one. This has given me a chance to wear some of my more expensive Swiss pieces, the stuff that I don't wear all that much, doesn't quite get the wrist time it deserves. That includes my Oris Big Crown Pointer Date in bronze. Love that watch. That was a pickup earlier on this year. And I've been wearing my Omega Seamaster Aquaterra. That was a present from my wife. It was our anniversary last week, so I had to wear that one for at least a couple of days. I've also been wearing my Breitling Navitimer, which is a watch that I adore, but I keep, I keep that one in good condition. I don't wear that one an awful lot. Plus, I've been wearing some pieces that I've got in for review. Pagani Design Date Just Homage, which is far too good for the money if you don't mind a complete copy. And I've been wearing the new Invicta 1953, the hot vintage style pro diver that they launched earlier this year that's actually quite hard to find. So my advice would be if you're stuck indoors with your watch collection, enjoy them, wear as many of them as you can, at least it'll give you something to do. 
As I said, I hope you're all safe and well. Thanks for having me. What's up everybody, I'm Guy from the Just Blue Fish Watch Reviews channel and my buddy AB asked me to put together a little message for all of you guys and I guess for his sake as well as to talk about what watch have I been wearing the most lately. That is a double-edged question, double-edged in that there are two watches that I've been wearing the most. Number one is my Casio G-Shock DW5600. It's a watch that I wear all the time. It's a watch that I absolutely love. It's just outstanding, it's affordable, it's durable. There's really nothing that that watch can't do or nothing that you can throw at that watch that it can't handle. It's absolutely fantastic and I love that watch. The second watch is also probably going to be obvious for anyone that's familiar with my channel. It is my Rolex Submariner, my Ceramic Submariner date version. However, I've been wearing that watch a lot on an Everest rubber strap. It's a new strap that I've gotten recently and after doing a little bit of research, what I have found out is that our watches can harbor and carry a lot of germs, a lot of bacteria, and potentially even viruses, and it's just a few inches away from our hands. So in order to keep things as clean as possible, I have been wearing that watch on rubber quite a bit. Now the nice thing about rubber straps is that you can just throw them under the faucet with a little soap and water and clean them up super easily. Yeah, you could do that with a bracelet, and the Oyster bracelet is one of the best bracelets you can absolutely get your hands on. But with all those little nooks and crannies, it's actually much more difficult to get them perfectly clean or disinfected or sterilized. So that's what uh, I've been wearing the most as of lately, for sure the last month, maybe even longer. Really not getting around to throwing other watches on the wrist too terribly often. If I'm not leaving home, maybe for uh, an afternoon, I'll change it up just here at the house. But yeah, primarily that's it. It's the Casio DW5600 G-Shock and my Rolex Submariner, the Ceramic Submariner Date, reference number 116610LN. Hi Abby and hi friends of the Watch Collecting Strategy channel. Abby, you did ask me which watch I do wear recently, especially these days. So let's change the perspective and check out the piece I do have these days, actually every day on my wrist. So this is a watch I do wear recently, especially these days, my GMT Master. It's very flat, very comfortable. It went with me through some difficulties, but also through good times. So um, it's the go-to watch I do like and treasure a lot. And I do enjoy wearing a lot these days, especially in the home office. All right, that's it. Shout out to you, Abby. Thanks again for letting me joining in to this video, guys. What should I say? Stay safe, stay healthy, and positive. Take care, guys. Ciao. Hi, guys, and thank you, AB, for inviting me to participate in this video. Now, when it comes to me, things have been a bit hectic because our business is one of the rare ones that are still open. Because of that, we have a lot of orders and we have to satisfy a lot of buyers. So when I'm in these kind of situations where I really don't have time for anything else other than business, I turn back to my G-Shocks because they're worry-free, they're not expensive, and even if I damage one, which is very hard, it's not a huge loss. Because of this, I've been wearing my DW5000SL for weeks now. And in my 10-year long-term review video, I explain why I simply adore this watch. Now, for the rest of you guys, if you don't have to work, please do stay safe, stay at home, and let's get through this as soon as possible. Again, thank you, AB, for inviting me, and see you in the next one. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, The Wrist Guy, from the German YouTube channel, The Wrist Guy. AB asked me what kind of watch I was wearing, and, you know, during days like these, where we all stay at home, you would usually see me wear my Automa Piguet Royal Oak Extra Thin, aka the Jumbo, reference 15202. So this watch is my absolute dream watch. It is one of my gray watches and I'm extremely grateful to be able to have it in my collection at this very moment. This watch has everything I would want to have in a watch. It has the sportiness, it has the elegance, it has an incredible movement and it has a wrist presence I've never seen in any other watch and it has 39 millimeters which makes it perfect in my opinion. So the single downside I have with this watch is a little bit the practicality. So this watch isn't really water resistant at all. So it's like 50 meters or so, so I wouldn't go beyond showering with this watch on. <laughs> Besides that, this watch gives me a very calm feeling because uh, it has no second sense, so it's just hours and minutes. So when you look at the watch, it looks like it's completely standing still, which 
obviously it isn't and it gives me some form of everything is gonna be all right feeling if you know what i mean so <laughs> this has been it i hope you're all doing great i hope you will stay healthy and stay inside and that's been it guys have a good one bye bye Hey everybody, uh, this is Dave over at Just The Watch and I wanted to share with you the watch that I have been wearing a lot lately, which is the Cassie Oak GA2110. And it's a little bit surprising because I have not actually been getting out doing a lot of super rugged um, things that you would need a watch like this for. I've just been sitting around my house a lot. But um, my house is actually probably the most dangerous place for wearing watches. It's probably where I'm most on edge when I'm wearing a, a watch and you know, if it's a you know, slightly more fragile mechanical watch. Um, I've got three kids that are very wild and energetic. I've got things that I bump into. So having a super rugged watch like this is like the perfect daily house watch for me. And it's really comfortable. It's got all the functions I need. It's a great watch for that. So that's what I've been wearing. Guys, I know this is a really crazy time right now, but um, yeah, hang in there. We're going to be okay. I hope you guys take some time to just, you know, be at home, be with your family, stay safe, and yeah, we'll get through this. Um, we're praying for everybody out there, and hang in there. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Anders from Watch On Channel, reporting from Copenhagen, Denmark. I hope you guys are well. I really enjoy making these little short videos, just saying hello to all you guys. And uh, I'm working out of my home, been working out of my home for almost three weeks now. So I want to present you uh, with the three watches I'm really enjoying. I know that the assignment was one, uh, but I'm a watch nerd, so I usually wear two or three different watches every day. So let's have a closer look at the watches I'm wearing during these confinement days. Here we are with a closer look on the three watches I have been wearing most during the last almost three weeks in confinement at home. And uh, it's three different watches, two luxury watches and a very affordable micro brand watch. So let's start with this one. And I'm wearing this one because it was my very first Rolex. So this is the Rolex GMT Master 16700. It's maybe one of the least desired GMT Master models, although it's becoming more popular. But I really just like to think about the joy of the times when I got my very first Rolex. And it's just a watch I'm never going to part with. So I really, really enjoy this Rolex GMT Master, also because it's a very colorful watch. The other watch I'm wearing, and which is kind of my office watch, at least when I'm working out of my home, is the Grand Seiko Snowflake. This is just a perfect watch because it's beautiful, it's super accurate and it's legible. But the thing which is really, really cool when you're just spending a lot of time in your home office is that this watch is very light because it's made of titanium. So it's very nice to wear on your wrist while working out of home because you almost don't notice this Grand Seiko snowflake on your wrist. And the last watch I'm wearing at home here is actually also a very affordable micro brand watch. This is the Mercer Voyager 2. I just got this watch again. I used to own the blue version and I rebought this black version. I enjoy this watch a lot. It's a really cool micro brand watch. The loom is amazing. It wears like a, a dream. I really like the shiny ceramic bezel insert and it's very accurate with NCOSC specifications. So this is kind of my afternoon evening watch when I'm at home. So this was the three watches I'm wearing most these days. I wear a lot of other watches because I change watches like two or three times a day. Stay positive guys. It's just a phase in not too long time. Hopefully we will see a lot of improvement and we will be back to, be back to our normal everyday life. Thank you. Hi everybody, Bob here from Time to Go Travel and Time Pieces. First of all, a big thanks to AB for reaching out and including me in the video. I think it's a great idea and I really appreciate it. So what watch has been getting the most wrist time for me? If you asked me about a week or so ago, I would have told you one of my G-Shocks, probably my 5610. I've been trying to do some projects around the house to keep busy and I need something a little bit more robust on wrist. The other day though, I was playing around with straps and I ended up putting the old school Jubilee back on the SKX. It's just so comfortable, fun to wear. The watch is robust too. So this one's definitely gotten the most wrist time over the last few days and probably will for quite a few days to come. So thanks so much for having me, AB. All the best to everyone that's watching. Be safe out there and we'll see you soon. 
So the watch I have been wearing the most for the past month has been the JLC Master Geographic. It is my favorite watch in my collection, in fact even if I had a collection full of millions of dollars of watches, this would probably still be my favorite. It has a lot of sentimental values behind it, um, I have a story about it which I'm gonna have a review on in the future. But bottom line is this watch brings me a lot of comfort, it's my favorite watch so every time I'm feeling a little antsy at home and I look at it, it gives me a little bit of distraction. Also I have a lot of friends and family overseas so having that world time function is actually very beneficial for me so I could time whether they're asleep or not so I can call them. Um, and honestly it has been my favorite watch in this past month, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. But guys, first of all, I would like to thank everybody that joined me here today. Thank you guys so much for making this video with me. Staying positive and all of your positive messages, I'm sure everybody will appreciate it. Please let us know in the comment section below what watch you've been wearing the most. Which was your favorite watch actually in this list as well in this video. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Guys, stay safe. We're all in this together. We're all going to get through this together. Wash your hands and guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.